My parents always bought us extra things. I think they were trying to make up for what we didn't have in school. Um, and at that time, we couldn't use the public libraries. That came later. And so um, you just get, you just recognize from the beginning, education, healthcare. I remember a door that I couldn't read at that time, but I, I remember asking my mother if I could go in the other door and her hurrying me along and saying no, which I now recognize was because that was the white only and we were going into the color only. But I remember when that door came down, I remember when I first got to go into a public library. It is hard at my age not to know that we deserve better, we need it better. And I recognize the changes in myself just with access to more. But at the end of the day, given access to resources is what I learned as a kid. You can catch up. You just have to know what you need to know, where it is, how to access it, and have someone give you enough of a foundation that you can build on it. And that, for me, is how we will improve health. You know, COVID, I think, has been the eye-opener for some people, but it was just um, business as usual for other people. I think most of the people that I work with recognize when this first emerged that it would be a problem for many in North St. Louis City and North um, St. Louis County. When we first ta started talking about the need for masks and gloves, I knew where they weren't because I live in North County. You could barely find masks and gloves but you know where they were. They weren't overly abundant, but there were more in West County than I could find in North County. We're always a few steps behind because in, when times are good, we choose to ignore and not to prepare um, these communities so that they are on an equal footing with other communities. You know, equity means for some period of time, we've got to invest where we haven't invested to make sure people have what they need to grow and thrive. It doesn't mean you do the same for everyone. And unfortunately, we've been in a same for everyone modality for a very long time. If this hasn't taught us that we better think differently, um, I don't know what will. She is the real deal. Having her as a colleague and a friend has been perhaps one of the best and finest moments of my life. What she brings to bear is not only a depth and breadth of intellectual heavyweight status in terms of her knowledge of the subject matter, but she also brings the empathy and understanding of persons who are on the edge, who for too long have been overlooked in our society in terms of public health and social welfare. Ms. Vetter is just fantastic. So she um, had done a lot of the early work for the program for the elimination of cancer disparities, PCAD. And when I arrived in town over 15 years ago, she was the go-to person who knew what the community needed, what the gaps were in access to prevention and treatment. And that really reflects her long-term commitment and connection and advocacy for the community at large, yeah. When I first started, the main thing that I heard was, why do you want to waste your time on this? Why do you want to waste your time on this? You could be doing something better. Um, but it has come full circle. Persistence paid off. Um, and I think that there are people now who recognize that I didn't waste my time and I didn't need to do anything different. Um, I just needed people to listen. But for me, I think just the friends you make, I'm still in contact with so many of those people. My, I'm still in contact with so many of my students, the extraordinary things that they do and my colleagues who are 
um, among the best. Uh, you, you meet so many people who contribute so much. Um, I don't, I think when I think about them, I honestly think they've done more than I've ever done. Um, and I really appreciate all of them.